talked to you guys in forever. I was in Thailand, so if you guys can tell that I am tan, that is why. I didn't even notice how tan I was until I got back home and I was like, wow, I'm actually really dark for me because normally I am as pale as a ghost, like no joke. Before vacation, I had a planner, right? So I got my planner like mid-March and I made a video about it and I told you guys I would update you about how I'm using my planner and like the system that is working for me just to give you guys ideas and if you guys want to get the planner, you guys will know and like have ideas of how to organize your stuff in the planner. Well, considering I don't have a job, my planner doesn't have a job schedule in it. So you guys, if you guys have a job, you guys would have a job schedule in it. I happen to have my school schedule in it. Um, in June, I kind of have a job. So in June, I will have a schedule. So anyway, I'm just going to show you guys how I use my planner. So if you guys remember, this is my Erin Condren life planner. I did not bring this to Thailand with me so I will show you guys what I did for the weeks that I was in Thailand because I didn't want to leave it empty. I wanted to fill it in when I got back but it was just too much of a hassle to bring with me because I'd always want to be playing with my planner and right before vacation my boyfriend was like you're not bringing that thing with you because you're going to be playing with it the whole time and you're not even going to like do stuff on vacation so I couldn't really bring it on vacation with me. Woo! That just went flying. I'm so happy that it's not fall in the toilet. Because yes, I am in the bathroom and this just went like shooting up and it landed right next to the toilet. So for my planner, on the first page I decided to make a dashboard. I don't know if I had this last time when I showed you guys my planner. I don't know if this was already in place. I know this part wasn't there for sure, but maybe this was with the little other stuff here. But I got these little pockets from Michaels. They are not sticky so I have double sided tape on the back of them and I just put them there. Here I have coupons and here I have little things for my planner. Um, giant post-it notes to write my homework. I have these cute little cloud post-its and speech bubble post-its. These are from Smash. You could get them at Michaels or Target or online. I have the smaller um, post-its and I have page flags down here. This is kind of what I use to mark my um, shows I need to watch, mark my school schedule, my work schedule, etc. I still haven't figured out how to use the birthdays and anniversaries page, except for now that we're in May. I started selling some of my, some of my makeup, so I'm just writing down what I sold and how much money I got for it. This is my May page, my May page calendar view. So these things with the pink, they're pink and white page flags. These are bills I have due that day. The ones with the ones with the check marks, they have already been paid. These orange ones right here are big due dates for school. So I had like a, a project due here and another project thing there. Research papers, observation papers due. Here is Mother's Day, my one year, eight month anniversary. The ones in purple are movies I want to see in the movie theaters. So I mark that down. And I'm also doing no spend May means that I can't buy anything from my planner this month because I kind of went crazy in um, in March and April. And I allowed myself because I was like, oh, this is my first month with my, with my planner. I could buy stuff for it. So I'm doing no spend May, which is why there's a red mark here because on the first, I kind of failed that. I've been doing good other than that. Today is the, what is today? Today is Thursday the 8th. So we're right here. For like a week, I haven't bought anything from a planner. Doing good so far. I want to show you guys my previous weeks because I want to show you how I filled in Thailand and everything. So this is the two weeks that I was in Thailand. I had class these days. I mark my class in like the red, reddish orange color. I put birthdays on top. I do put the weather except for these two days because I don't remember what the weather was. But like here I have like little weather stickers if you guys can see that. Um, this week looks a little crazy because it was crazy. This was like my packing week. I had to get a whole bunch of homework done. I had to film a whole bunch of videos. I had to buy stuff for my vacation and stuff. Um, I filled in later on um, what we did on those days. So I went planner shopping on the 10th, for example. Here we went to the Grand Palace and we saw, um, what was it, the temples over there with the giant reclining Buddha. Um, then here we took a plane to another part of Thailand. So I just kind of like filled in everything later. I wrote everything down in my, um, in my phone. Oh, and here's like a little, kind of like a 
what is that? I forgot what that's called. I think that's a Song Tao. That's a Song Tao. The next week of my week in Thailand, these two days we did um, scuba diving, so I just marked them the same. And then on this day we saw manta rays and we saw a whale shark. So I really had to mark that down. On the 14th we did some elephant feeding. Um, we took like a ride around the island and stuff. We had pizza and pasta for dinner. Um, here I finished my book for school because I still had to do homework while I was on vacation. Here we did beach in the morning and then we did a cooking class the rest of the day. So when when it's like a longer day, I kind of mark off with like this thinner tape of what I'm doing if it's like a longer day. Um, let's see. Then this was still vacation. Um, here we had another travel day. So travel day marked with that one's purple because we were traveling this whole time. Um, this was a beach day. This was another beach day and my school loan check back at home was supposed to come in. And then at night I got food poisoning so there's a sad face over there. And then here I have like our itinerary of when we went, when we went back to New York from Thailand and our flight schedule. Then our flight was delayed for two hours, blah blah blah. Then here when I got back I had to mail Etsy orders. Um, and then this is just like a to-do list and stuff. So this was last week. I bought these stickers. If you guys can see these stickers. I bought them on Etsy from another seller. I'm going to try to make my own for next time. I wanna, I'm going to learn how to make these so I can sell some in my store. They're going to be different, obviously, but I don't want to have to keep buying, so I want to make my own. But this is basically like a to-do list for the whole entire week. So you mark off each day that you complete that. And then this is a weekly to-do list of things that you have to do once a week. Then I had my class schedule. This with the fire and the orange tape going down, that is my boyfriend's schedule. So either he's working a whole day, just a night shift, a morning shift. Um, so it varies all the time. So this is this week, you guys. Um, blog sale. I totally didn't even do that. I was just selling makeup. I was selling makeup on Facebook groups, so I didn't even get to do a blog sale yet. Um, my homework, my school stuff, I ran out of the dark dark uh, red, so I'm doing bright orange now for school. Then I just mark like things I have to do throughout the day. Here I'm putting stuff on my bookmark, things I want to buy. Um, I have to register for classes in like less than an hour for that. Um, what else did I want to show you guys? I think there was something specific. Oh, these things, you guys. These are Shape and Tape washi squares. I actually sell this in my Etsy store. So I just decorate my planner with them. You guys can see I sell these kind too, like the fancier shapes. I sell labels like this, um, more fancy shapes. Um, I also make calendar ones, calendar versions to decorate your calendar. And I have one here. Um, I marked off here. They're really good to mark off like a certain day. Oh look, I just got an Etsy order if you guys heard that on my phone. So they're really good to mark off a certain day if you're doing a whole thing. They're good just to decorate and make your planner more fun. I also sell hydrate stickers, not these kind, but different ones. I don't know where I put them, but they're somewhere in my planner. For my own work schedule, I just put it at the top over here and I do my work schedule in green. So this is June. I fast forwarded to June. Um, that's all I'm doing. I have not filled out my contacts pages or anything yet. Um, I don't know because everything is already in my phone. Um, I've only used this many stickers. These are the birthday stickers and I have like no other birthdays to fill in. I have not used any of these stickers that come with the planner. They're the game, hair appointment, sale, doctor's appointment, concert, Manny Petty, party, vacation. I haven't used any of these. I've used the blank purple stickers for um, movies I want to see in theaters. And then I haven't even used these blank stickers that come with it either. Um, these are the labels that I make right here the weather sticker labels right here that I make and I sell also in my Etsy store if you guys are interested for your planner supplies. In this folder I still keep my page flags, more page flags, some stickies, some other stuff and then I have backup 
um, weather stickers for me. So guys, that's it for my planner for now. I will do another update in like a few months or so if I have like another system that I changed to that's working for me better. I mean, this is working for me great right now, but, um, I don't know. Things might change in a few months, so I will update you guys. Um, if you guys want a video on what I carry around with me for my planner, please let me do that, let me know down below in the comment section because I carry stuff with me all the time for my planner. So like these two things always go together. They do not get separated. And then um, one last note I want to mention in this video is that I saw this video. Um, well, you guys know that I made this video on a PMD, right? And it's like the skin. Um, the skin device that makes your skin better, it like gets helps get rid of dark spots and everything and dead skin cells and everything and it's just really great and it's the PMD. So I made the video before that and now I just saw this video that um, was with um, Michelle Money. Michelle Money from The Bachelor. Did you guys ever watch The Bachelor? Um, I never watched it but hey, she's famous and she has a YouTube channel so I needed to mention this. So her name is Michelle Money from The Bachelor and she actually has a video on the PMD video on the on the PMD video. What am I saying? On the PMD. So if you guys want to check that out, click this link here. I will put an annotation right here so you guys can go click it and check it out. Come out with the most amazing, bright, there's more. I don't know where they are. Trend colors. Spray tans can get Tricky. This will help remove. Oh my gosh, it's like oh my unwanted God. lines. And I just thought it was like a great video. And it was interesting. And she did a video on the PMD, just like I had a video on the PMD. And she's famous, and I'm not. So check her out. Check her video out, and I will link it right here. And then I will see you guys in the next video. So take care, cause I care and I love you. Again, let me know if you guys want to see on what's in my planner supply bag. I guess I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.